with 16 stops. I'll be interested to see how many we get on this line. 169. What? No. No. What would be the max? Seven, eight. Oh my goodness me. No way. No way. No way. Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in the city of New Zealand. Here we go, things are expanding at a fantastic rate and today we're going to be working on a lot of mass transit into our new area that we built over here. This, this fantastic new entertainment Oh, it's got loads of people streaming in from all over the place. I was just checking out how many people here are coming out of the space elevator. And there are so many. And there are a lot of people waiting for taxis. Just watching this taxi over here. Has this got somebody in? Uh, picking up passenger, Holly Dave. Oh, there we go. Look, literally right there. Go on in, out you jump. Yeah. So loads of people wanting taxis. So we need to work on that. So I've been going through all the suggestions in the last episode. And there were some fantastic ones. Um, including the name of this area, which we will get to in a few moments. Now, one of the things that I wanted just to tweak, and it is to do with mass transit, is all the way over here. So we've got our buses coming in here, our bendy buses. There was quite a few comments saying, why don't you put the stops? Uh, let's just grab that on the other side so they can come in and then queue round here. You know, that would have made much more sense. That would have been good. But what I'm actually going to do is put in a new bus station in this area because I would like more bus lines coming in. We've got the bus line coming from here. We have got our airport all the way over here. Now, there are mass transit options to get in and out of here. We, of course, have our airport train station. Um, and what else have we got under here? We've got over here, we've got our bus station as well. So I want to bring some buses from there. I mean, it's going to be a long trip all the way around because there's, yeah, they'd have to go this way. Let's put it into that view. They'd have to go this way, all the way down here. Oh my goodness me. This would be, yeah, all the way up the highway, all the way down here. And then they'd come into here. Because um, there's no way around this way at the moment. I'm just wondering whether we could change that. Because that is such a long route. Could we add a bridge over here? This is like the shortest, oh, this is the shortest route. But then if I add it there, we get into here. I mean, that might be slightly shorter by the crow flies. Mm. I'm looking at this piece of land here and wondering whether we could have a bridge. What would that go over into? We've got this hotel. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be adding a bridge into there. So let, let's just set it up the way that it is and see how it goes. But that's going to mean over here we are going to do some adjustments. So we'll just pause the game because this is going to go... If I just delete this little circle area around here, we'll keep that road in there for now. I'm going to grab that. Um, do you know what we... Oh, I'm just wondering. If we add that into the back there, is that going to mess anything up? It's going to... Do something with the parking. Yeah, let's not add that into the back there. And I hope that's going to sort itself out. Yeah, we're okay. So what I'll do instead is we'll come along, say, to there. And then we're going to put a path in there. Prop and tree anarchy is on. Let's just bish bosh. Oh, the rock. It's gone. Too late. Too late. That's it. The rock has disappeared. There's nothing we can do. Um, and then I've got this brand new. Uh, nope, I want this one over here. <laughs> Get there in the end. I've got this brand new bus station, which I think is not too big, not too small, and looks really nice. Look at that, with the wavy glass roof over the top, and we can fit a load of stops into there. We're going to pop that into there, so it can go straight in, out, and it's going to do that weird wonky thing at the end and go around. I'll tell you what we could do, maybe, is if I grab this and move that over ever so slightly... Can we just get that to go straight out instead of... <laughs> nope. <laughs> Whatever I do. It's, let's put it all the way along there. Oh, that rock is back. Oh, come on. Let's save the rock. I feel I feel bad for the rock. There we go. Yeah, it's... Whatever happens, it's going to do a bit of wiggly wiggly, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's just line it up so it looks okay. And the buses will have to just please themselves. So we're going to have that there. And then, oh my goodness me, we're going to... Oh, there we go, look. Oh, Jim, oh, ah, oh, it's thinking about it, what to do. Okay. And then we're going to have the biggest bus route ever from all the way over here. And we are going to really make use of some of our amazing buses. It's going to start here. It's going to come all the way down here. 
And I know we've got, so we're going down the highway, we've got this entertainment island over here. It could come off and stop at. We are going to add that into there. So it's going to come, <laughs> is it going up and down the highway? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off all of those so we don't get confused with what's going on. So it's going to come down the highway. I would like to have it to come off and stop in here. So we're going to have it go up and stop there opposite that one. So where's that coming off the highway through there? That's fine. And then when it comes back round again, I'd like to come into every sort of major bus station we've got because we have a few. So we've got this one over here, which has got tons of space in it. Should we go? Yeah, we'll go where it's just making it go in. So I just want to see where that bus is going. It's come off the highway through the junction to there. Yep, that's fine. Then onto the next island by the Strawberry District. We've got another one over here. Um, oh, yeah, I can't see if they're doubled up, can I? Oh, well, that's fine. I'll pop it in, and then when I turn all the bus things back on again, I'll, I'll sort it out if I need to. So that's going to go there and here. There we go. And then that is the last one. So we've got Fisherman's Island there. Yeah, then it's going to come round this way, isn't it, up through here. Yeah, I think we're going to have it come off the highway, stop right outside here. Then it's going to go back on the highway again, bypass all of this. Yeah, bypass all of that. There's no big bus station there. Then it's going to come around the highway, down the highway, and then we're over here. There we go. Yeah, that'll be it. And um, we could stop actually down at this one on the way and then up at this one. And then it's going to go all the way back. Yeah, so let me just fill that in because that is just going to take a minute. And there we go, all the way back. Excellent. There is one more stop that I missed over here. Oh my goodness, there's so many things to look at. Is over here. We've got the Save the Rock Hub, of course, which is right by the highway. So if I drag that into there, I want that to go into one of these roads. Yeah, so then it's going to take the back road round, which is okay. And then we'll drag that one in on the way back the other way. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a little bit of an overlap there, but I think that will be fine. Um, and then what we're going to use on that one is, um, which bus line is this one? That must be bus line 53. And we're going to put on there some articulated airport buses. And I'll be interested to see how many we get on this line with 16 stops, 169. <laughs> what? No. Now, what would be the max? Seven, eight. Oh my goodness me. No way. No way. No way. Uh, 85. Let's just drop that down. <laughs> just nuts. I mean, even like 10 is going to be too many. Oh, there's 50 on each. Okay. Let's make it 10. And then we'll come back and keep an eye on that. And then we'll rename that line. Let's turn on all our other bus lines. There we go. We'll rename that line once. Um, yeah, we've done some other naming stuff. So now I just need to find my bus depot. Okay, here comes the first bus out on this line. So let's follow this one. This is going to be a humongous journey. And uh, yeah, get a nice look at our island on the way.
there we go it's taken a while and now we're coming back round to the airport so wow we've come from all the way over there to all the way over here that is a long long journey you would want to make sure your phone and your laptop are charged before you take this journey now, i did notice there were a few trees in the road as we were going along there so i'll jump back and fix those sorry about the camera jumping it does that from time to time when you're following a vehicle but i want to see how many there we go how many people are using this line so let's have a look at the line details and we've got so we've not had two oh it's like nearly a hundred kilometers long this line but some of these stops have got a lot of people waiting so where's that one that one's over here at the glass hub then what else have we got we've got 41 over here which is not too far away from where they're going to and then down here there was oh, there's 10 down here as well so entertainment island that sort of makes sense doesn't it so that's good so as that goes along hopefully that will pick up some more and get some people moving around to our lovely new area right let's work on some of these other new little tips that we've got now the other comment was uh, when we had the bus stop here that people can't walk through a toll road so they're not really going to be using the buses that much unless they do what this person i think has done has got off the bus got their car out and then they're going to come through here we've literally got this park right over here so could we add a side gate is that a small amusement park main gate so let's do that that is that is actually a lot bigger than i thought i thought there's going to be a teeny tiny gate i tell you what we could probably use one of these park side gate if we pop that in there that's going to make its own park let's attach it to this one Oh, that's okay. It's big enough. Let's just make sure. Zoop. Do that there. Pop that there. And then we're going to connect this path up here. Let's do some wiggly wiggly like that. And like that. And that'll be fine. So now they can walk through there to get into this park. And they'll probably pay some money as well. Olive Land. This is called at the moment. Yes, they will pay some money. Lots of expenses. I imagine that, that will change. And we had a name suggestion for this whole area and for this park as well. So for those of you that remember, we have our other park all the way over here called Teasney World. This is the one with all the rides and all the stuff. Yep, excellent. So if we come back to our new park, Olive Land, this is going to be called Teasney Land. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. In direct competition, we have Teasney World and Teasney Land. This one's struggling for visitors at the moment, so we're going to see how that goes. And then we had a fantastic name suggestion for this area, which was from Ricardo Barbieretto. And I love this name. Let's just pop that in here. Space Oddity. Uh, I like that. Excellent. What a great name. That fits in with the sort of spacey tea theme. You know how we do on this channel. So thank you for those suggestions. So just looking at this little bus area over here, I'm just thinking I'm going to add in... Um, can I fit in a taxi depot? Oh, look, that is so close. If I anarchy that in, I bet that's going to fit perfectly there. That is exactly what we want, because I checked out my other taxi depots and all their taxis are in use so they're all going to go flying out which is great and they're not going to go where i thought they were going to go <laughs> that's fine you know you do what you want to do and then some taxi stands as well would be great to fit some of those in we're not going to fit those in there well let's put them over here so maybe we could get whoa a little taxi stand action going up the side here there we go we'll just move that over a little bit like that and then we could perhaps add uh, just a couple on there so taxis will come and wait in the taxi stand when they're waiting for new calls and we know a lot of people along here are calling for taxis now something else we could add to this area to try and bring more people in and we don't have one of these in our cities yet is a harbor so tourists can arrive to the city and leave it via the harbor and i would like to add that maybe to this little area here it looks like the perfect space so even though we've got this uh, ferry and bus exchange stop that's only an internal network thing isn't it so let us just remove these trees that we've got here there we go let's just readjust the position of these rocks if you can let me grab that one and i think that will nicely just go along there together with this yep there we go excellent and then we're just going to pause the game a moment we're just going to remove those and i'm going to remove that there that is like the perfect space 
Uh, let's just shiftify these back a bit. And then what I'm going to do along there is put in the basic, uh, the basic one. So if I grab that, I want the fenceless. Simple seawall, fenceless. There we go. So we're going to go from there to there with that one. I have had a few people mention about not having any steps in to get down to this bottom layer. We'll have a look at that in a second as well. Is that big enough? I mean, that will sort of fit in there, but we need to get these moving out a bit. So I want to get that right up to there, and then I'm just going to use move it just to, let's grab this node okay let's try that again it's not oh, yeah, whoop, ah there we go i got it move that okay okay all right all right there we go excellent that fits in there perfectly um and then we just need to try and work out what we're going to do with access uh from this thing because obviously we've got this path here that's now not connecting to that path there um i'm just wondering whether let's just see if we can wiggle this around a bit like through here let's just put anarchy on yeah what we need to do as well is lower this down it's too high so let's get that level with the pier that we've got either side yeah i think that's okay that can go into there and then can we just sort of squeeze this through there ever so slightly let me just monkey around with that for a sec Okay, there we go. So, of course, we need a road connection to this. So I just wiggled this little road around here. Uh, there we go. Look, we've already got people coming out of this. And then we've got park access. So, if people want to walk all the way around, they're going to pay to get in again over here. Uh, but that's fine. I don't mind, of course, because I'll be making all the money. So, excellent. So, this is now just going to start bringing people in from outside the city. We're going to get cruise ships in there, which is exactly what we want. Um, yeah, we're not going to have a line overview on this one because it is just going to be uh, connected to the outside. So we're going to give that some time and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm keeping an eye on this to see when we get our cruise ships coming in. Nothing yet, but I'd like to just turn my attention to this area over here. So we've got this little metro, underground metro station here. And we've got an extremely lumpy and bumpy, <laughs> look at this, up and down, up and down, which always happens when you're going through, I think what it is, is when you set the height, it takes the height from the underneath of the ground. So if, the, if this was zero height and up here was 50 height, going down would take it from here. But when you get over here, it takes it from this height here and then goes down so yeah it's just made it really really winky and wonky now there is a, a tool we can use to change that but before we do that well, there was a couple of ideas in the comments as well which were fantastic before we do that i just want to make a little bit more space in here um so we're going to grab that and that and this and we're just going to move that back and then let's get that one lined up like that hang on let me grab this there we go. And the suggestion was to have an above ground metro station. And I think we could do that. So if we pop this one here, there we go. That's fine. And then we can get that one to go down and underground and connect over here. So I'm just thinking the best way to do this because um, I don't want to mess up my lines. So I think what we'll do is we'll put our underground line in first. And when I say underground line, I mean underground track. So that's going to be a tunnel down to there. We'll worry about the height and the slope and everything in a moment. Um, and then I'm going to disconnect that from there like so. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this all the way back. And I'm going to show you a cool trick uh, that somebody mentioned to me in the comments for connecting metro like this and i can't believe i hadn't thought of this before because i absolutely love using this tool for other things let me just get rid of these this uh, line carefully i think we're okay yeah we're at the other end so what we can do is use the network multi-tool 
And we've got all the different connections here, the create loop mode, uh, create curve mode and create connection mode. So we're going to go for the create connection mode, uh, hold shift for underground and it takes us above ground. OK, let's change that. Hold shift. There we go. So we're going to go from there all the way over to where are we? I'm completely lost. Where, <laughs> where are we? Round here. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Hold shift all the way to here. Oh, and it's automatically done it. And I'm really hoping that that is going to be underground. I've just hit enter and just gone with it. Okay, let's see. So it looks underground. It looks flat. It's just gone all the way. Look at that. Excellent. And now what I want to do, which I just completely forgot to do before, was move this stop to over here. There we go. Excellent. Then we're going to delete this one. So everyone's going to come up running over here instead. And then what I want to do is just tidy up this area a bit, make it easy for people to get over here and maybe just do a little something something with these car parks. I like these ones with the tree uh, and we could fit in uh, some over here like this with a little path in between. Make sure it's above ground. And what I'm hoping is, let's make that straight, is that there is access to the back of the station via this path, like quite often there is with other stations. But if not, we've got the path there anyway. Um, and it's not that far to walk around, so we should be okay. Oh man, this area is getting busy. I uh, just want to use the Move It mod as well, just for this little section under here. What have we got going on there? It looks like, oh, looks like there's something weird going on. I think we might have too many nodes there. Uh, let's just see. If I hold Shift. Um, yeah, there we go. And I think there's only one in there. I'll tell you what I might just do, is I might just delete that section there. And just connect that up again. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. And I just wanted to lower this section down here. Just so it's not so lumpy bumpy above the ground. Yeah, excellent. That's good. And give it a second. That stop will kick back in again. And look how busy it is here with all the people coming out. Quite a few jumping in their cars. But look, so many walking around here to get into our main metro hub. Which don't drive through that, which is fantastic. And then they're going to be taken all the way over to the other side of the city. Over to here. I get lost. I get lost so often. To our tarantula hub. And then they can just disperse into the city. So we now need to rename this line from space uh, to space oddity to tarantula. Did I spell that right? Oh, it's near enough to tarantula hub. There we go. Excellent. We've already put on here the high capacity metro. I'm just going to adjust the color. Yeah, let's go for something like that. Excellent. And then, oh wow, 466 passengers. Uh, let's just run that a bit. We should be keeping up with that. So this is probably the stop right here. I think they're just about to be picked up. Yeah, there we go. That is the stop right here. And there's 26 waiting all the way over here. Look at these. These are just, yeah, they're keeping on top of it, I think. 500, 500. By the time that gets back round again, that should drop off and pick up. Do you know what? I'm going to add two more. Five, six. Just so the wait isn't so long. But that is just brilliant. How is our new bus line going? Which we haven't renamed yet. Number 53. Oh, we've got 36 people on there. And quite a few waiting. 70, 121. Nice. It is building up. Well, I've been wondering uh, why all my rail lines are broken. And all my stops are showing up. Uh, and we've got a, a thing over here. Totally burnt down. There we go. Everything. But I just hadn't noticed that that was broken at all so now hopefully if we come back over this way and over this way yep all looking okay all sorted all fixed excellent that was good yeah so i was looking about adding um a train line in over here but actually we've got one right here and right over there and with all the other options that we've got I think we'll be okay. And look at this. Spotted a cruise ship coming in. We need to put some parking over here, don't we? Oh, look at that. 
Cruise ships are now coming and going up and down here. Whether they did before or not, I'm not sure. But now they're actually stopping off. And look at that. Look at that slide. Oh, straight in. Excellent. Let's see how many people he drops off and how many we get. Um, yeah, here they come. Oh, excellent. That was <laughs> more than zero, which is good. Let's see where they're going. So these ones here are walking around here to catch one of the buses. Look, look, very busy bus, very busy bus. The rest of these have headed out into the park and they're heading over that way. Excellent. That is what we want to see. So what have we got on here? 110 a week. That is great. Oh, let's see. Now that this line's been going for a while, let's look at this line here. So we've got 13 on that one, 107 over here, which is this one here, I think, which is about to go down. Dropped off a load of people. No, it wasn't that one. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, they're all filled up, I reckon. Whoa. Let's add on... Oh, something's upgraded. Let's get it to 12. 13, 14. Yeah, let's do that. 11, 12. Go up. Oh, I'm going the wrong way down. There we go. Excellent. Get it to 14. Keep that thing going. Was that our park here? It was. Teasney Land is now upgraded. Excellent. We've got plenty of entertainment, so it's just the amount of visitors to get this to go up. Uh, I'm going to put this on our main park. Try and get as many people over here as possible and earn lots of money. Uh, 11 passengers taken away. 10 passengers. Any more? Any more coming in? What are you doing over there? 100 passengers coming to the harbour. Oh, man. This is just going fantastic. And here they all come flooding out. And there's another one waiting already to come in. Let's just see how many is on this one. Another hundred. Oh, man. This area is going to be absolutely bouncing, which is fantastic. So, another little tip. Uh, this road that we've got going through here, if I can grab that. There we go. If we turn that into an elevated piece of road uh, and just put on Anarchy and upgrade that, it will get rid. There we go of... Hmm. Now, do I want that looking like that? If I bring that up or down, is that going to let me? Let's use the movie mod. That might uh, work a little bit better. So if we go down, that sort of takes away that weird sort of look. Do I prefer it like that? Or do I prefer it how it was? Do you know what? I think I actually prefer it how it was. And we just stick with the... Uh, 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 this one. Yeah, there we go. Just stick with the fact that it's going over the top like that. And we'll just put this at the same height as it was before. This height. There we go. Excellent. And we'll just leave that going. Cool beans. So I would like to add a couple more buildings in here. We've got this road that comes up the top here. And in fact, these parks might just get maneuvered around a bit let's no i don't want to do that let's grab that and we're going to move that right down to the edge as far as it will go and then we've got this little kitty bouncy castle we're going to put opposite there we're going to grab that road and i'm thinking we're just going to bring that out yeah if we go straight along the back here i'll line this up a bit better in a moment then we can really make use of all of this space so if we go to there, and then we just come back into there. Excellent. If I turned off prop and tree anarchy before I'd done that, we wouldn't have the tree everywhere. There we go. Excellent. And we do a little something like that. And I've deliberately gone for not a, not a sort of curvy type of road, but so if we go out like that, uh, we'll go in one more. Yeah, excellent. And then in here we have, let's go all the way to our content creator pack stuff. We've got the Rail Yard Shopping Centre, which is a fantastic looking item. I want to try and sort of fit that in. I think we're going to go there with this one. And then I wanted to put in at the downtown hotel. And we've got this space over here. So what I might just do with this one is I'm going to grab that road. And I'm going to bring this out here. There's like a separate little road. We're going to pop that in there. And I'd like a little bit of parking. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stick with the theme here. I'm going to grab one of these. These are cool looking. 
little car parks. Yeah, I like those. And these buildings are just fantastic. Look at that. Lovely little hotel to come and stay at. And then we've got some more shopping over here. And I feel like maybe a little bit of parking here might be handy. And we could sort of maybe squeeze that in here and then make this into a nice little area. Oh man, this place is just getting busier and busier, which is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. There we go. And I think your suggestions have really brought this place to life. So if you have any more suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to hear them. I'm really, really pleased with the way this area's turned out. It's very dynamic. There's lots of life, people doing things, moving from place to place, earning us some money as well, which is absolutely fantastic. But I would like to ask you one more question before you go. So here we are taking a slow pan outwards away from the island of New Zealand. Where would you like me to expand to next? I'm going to put this down to a vote. So let's see how far we can get out and ever so carefully adjust the camera down to here. There we go. Excellent. So we can see, man, this has just been, this has just been one of my favorite cities, I have to say. There's just so much going on on here. Okay, so I think that just about gives us a view over the entire city so where should we build next now we've got the airport at the bottom there we've got that island that's attached to the airport that's covered in trees i'm going to call that area number one shall we expand out into there what could we put there I'm wondering whether to make that some sort of complex to go along with the two islands to the left. The one's got that little star fort on it and the one below it as well. We'll call those two area two. Shall we expand out to those? What could we put on there? Or finally, we've got area three, which is the two islands to the northwest of the main island, as you can see there. Well, they're sort of three islands in a line, isn't there? We'll call that area three. Shall we expand to there? And what could we put on there? Let me know in the comments below. 
I can, you know, New Zealand, I can see it coming to an end soon. Not yet, not yet. But very soon, once we have completely finished everything that we want to do, and I'm already excited about what's going to come afterwards. We don't know what it's going to be yet, but watch this space. But still things to do here. So let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm so close to 600,000. You can help me get there. And then check out the next video on the screen. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for all your support. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.